event is supposed to be about creativity, but some of the issues being discussed here are bigger and broader than that. According to a new study by Corn Ferry, learning agility is the most important quality to look for in a CMO. If you ask me, it's also one of the key leadership attributes in the broader world of marketing communications today. At the Forum MSL Group co-sponsored here at Cannes, we dove into this topic. Our forum session was based on the new book by Mary Lee Sachs, What the New Breed of CMOs Know That You Don't. And as Mary Lee points out in her book, learning agility isn't a factor considered in the majority of promotions and hiring decisions for CMOs. In my opinion, this scales exactly what's needed as our agencies, companies, and brands navigate the new world of content and the new social marketplace. Just like the, C the CMO, leaders at agencies also need to collaborate and communicate change. They need to be agile and flexible, yet decisive. They need to keep their eyes on understanding both the business and the customer. Most important, they must express an innate curiosity that allows them to focus, not on what's comfortable and familiar, but on what's different, fresh and new. Our leaders need to embrace a high velocity of change. So to a certain degree, our destiny and our future as communicators comes down to teaching and growing learning agility within our own organizations. That's good because better learning agility will lead to invention and innovation. It'll bring order to the disorder and it'll help us reimagine and reinvent outdated organizational structures. It will lead to the creation of new businesses and services and shape new ways for selling and servicing our clients, customers, and consumers. So where do we find this special skill? Learning agility isn't the stuff that's in every textbook, though it is in Mary Lee Sox's new book. I should point that out. But we need to build this skill among our employees and we need to grow future leaders who are extraordinarily agile. We need to train our people to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. We need to encourage and reward invention. Today, the communications industry is very different from the PR industry of old. Right now, the story we are writing is business evolution at a rocket speed that would have shocked Darwin himself.